out of control. Hopefully a minute. Okay. Hey. Right. So how long have you been in the growing business? Oh, well, I grew up on a farm, and we always had large gardens, and I always had a garden when my family was growing up, so I just... Continued on? Continued on, and plant the seeds of miracle to watch it come up and grow. Nice. I do. Alrighty. So what crops are you currently growing for this year? For this year. Well, the main two crops are uh, strawberries and um, sweet potatoes and probably tomatoes. Nice. Nice summer crops. Are you planning on doing any more, um, adding any new crops for the following seasons or staying with what you got? Probably staying with what I got because there's not many more to add. Mm -hmm. Nice and fighting fly. Yep. All right. And so what values do you think are most important to be successful for this kind of field? Uh, to be, it, it's like a, a small gardener, to be able to plant in succession and have something coming in all of the time. That's the, uh, that's the goal if you're going to be continuous. Yeah. So being able to pull out year-round crops? Mm -hmm. Nice. How many farmers markets are you doing currently? Well, we're going to be doing three farmers markets, and then we'll be doing CSA boxes. And um, I do a co-op. Mm -hmm. I sell to restaurants, and also have an opportunity to do Athens Local Garden. Nice. So, what restaurants are you selling to? In Athens, we sell to uh, uh, Country Club. Uh, we sell to. Uh, to the Georgia Club, we sell to National 5 and 10. Uh, uh, we sell to a uh, catering company, and occasionally to others. Right, cool. All right. What are some of your favorite aspects about growing, being a farmer? Well, it's just to watch that miracle. That seed growing and then turning into a plant, and uh, I love the harvest part. <laughs> So what kind of education do you think, uh, or would you recommend for anyone looking to come into this field? Whether like college, hands-on? A lot of hands-on, plus uh, a lot of the college courses now are, are very, uh, very good at, at teaching you the basics and, and the chemistry of it, and uh, a lot about the diseases and how to handle those and, and the insects. and. It's just a combination of things that, to be successful. And actually, the marketing is is something you can learn from school. School will help you do that. Nice. All right. So, if you had to guess, about how many hours a week would you say you work? <coughs> Basically, all the hours that the sun shines. <laughs> sun up, sun down. All right. So. Are there any tips you'd give anyone interested in getting into the farming business? I love it. And, and it's, it's a big, um, uh, it's a challenge because you've, you've got your weather, and the weather is a big thing, then your rain, and then uh, whether a plant's going to produce or it's not going to produce. Say, for instance, one year we had so much rain, uh, washed all the pollen off and nothing set free. So it's in, in diseases, whether you're going to have disease uh, on your crops or not, it's, it's, it's just a big, big challenge. Nice. You just learn to live with it and just hope for the next year, <laughs> for the next season. So just always be up to learning something new. Yes. All right. And what would you, if you had to guess, uh, what would you say is about your average profit for the year? Just average. Average, I, I, I'm never, I'm never, because I'm, I'm not a profit market, a market right. I basically, I'm sure I earn enough to. Berries too. Uh, yeah, I do a lot of berries and things. But um, maybe to cover my price of the of what it costs to do that. So just it's offset profit? Offset profit. And then it's a, there's a lot of expense involved in it. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes not on every year expense, but uh, your fertilizer. I probably spend five, six hundred dollars on fertilizer, and I, 
on electricity to run my greenhouse. I spend maybe four or five hundred dollars a year and just six hundred dollars here and seven hundred dollars there and all adds up all adds up and i, I could i can spend four hundred dollars for seeds easy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what would you think is your biggest expense so you'd like to see uh better techniques to help lower that um that's a good question i'm not sure what the busy biggest expense would be uh, organic fertilizer is is, a, is very costly, but it's also the way I choose to go. And uh, I, I, I buy it in bulk mm -hmm. these days, which helps. Um, I guess seed, and you always have to watch for seed. Uh, and I buy out of season because most seeds, if you freeze them, will keep and mm -hmm. you know, they'll germinate the next year or even the next year. Some some won't, but most will. Mm -hmm. So. I'm not real sure on that question. So do you um, do you grow everything organic? Yes. yes. But you're not USDA certified, correct? No. No. That's much more expensive, expensive. than it's worth for my mm -hmm. my size operation. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of that. People are like, we grow organic, but that label is just not enough to. And see, I do certified natural growth. Okay. Yeah. So what's the process for that? Just in general, to be certified uh, naturally grown. Well, you, it's, it's farmer monitor, monitored. It's on the honor system, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there is a uh, charge for it, but nothing like. Uh, nothing like the organic symbol. No, nothing like organic. And it's it's a growing organization that's really really coming to the front. Do you plan to stay uh, certified naturally grown? Oh yes. Oh, are you? Get comfortable. The morale is the motherfucker. Well, I think that's it. Mm -hmm.